Hi there, everyone, and welcome back to Advanced Apple Music. Now, this episode is going to be the first of a series of shorts that I plan to do, where I'll focus on kind of one little thing at a time, and hopefully it'll make things easier to find for people, and uh, just allows me to kind of expand on some of the things that I've talked about before. Now, to kick things off, uh, I'd like to take a little bit of a look at widgets. Marvis significantly improves on what's available in the Apple Music app. I will say, though, that personally, I do use the Apple Music app widget as well for um, specifically now playing. I'm always just kind of vaguely concerned about battery life. Um, I haven't noticed any concerns at all with using the Marvis widget for now playing, but I figured, you know, if Apple's widget for that works pretty well, may as well just use it. I'm sure it's optimized for the system and probably has some way of being a little bit more uh, in tune with some of the, the background stuff. Now, what I do love about Marvis's widgets, though, is the fact that they can be customized for non-playing music. Uh, one of the big drawbacks with Apple Music's widget is that it will just show maybe a recently played playlist, but you can't really choose what you want to show up. It may show a recent album you've played, which to me is not necessarily all that useful as I don't know why I'd want to play an album that I've recently played. I just It doesn't really strike me as being that useful. Um, so let's take a look at getting one set up with Marvis and see what kind of customization we can get into. Um, starting out here on my home screen, what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold down on some blank space and I'm going to click up at the plus on the from there, you're able to select the app on the left-hand side. And again, keep in mind, this is the uh, view for the iPad. The iPhone looks pretty similar, but obviously everything's much more condensed. But this is definitely possible on your iPhone as well. Um, anyway, so once I select Marvis, we can see a few options, starting with now playing right here. So this is going to show um, the currently playing track. It'll show what's up next, which is actually pretty useful. Um, my favorites are going to be the section widgets, though. So if we keep going over to here, um, we can see that there's a few options for different sizes of section widgets. So let's let's set up two of them. I'm going to start with a medium widget. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag this to where I want it to be. And I will tap on that. This pulls up what options I have right here. Now, um, let's pick a section um, really good to use with uh, album sections so i will do uh, let's do random albums here i prefer to have dark mode on all the time uh, which we'll do right here and we'll leave the we'll make this a grid that's going to show the album um, i'm going to leave show title on and subtitle in this case is going to be the artist so i'll turn that off for columns let's do four so that we can take up as much of that space as we can now, if we tap out of here, click done, there we go. So this just shows four random albums from my section that has it filtered by, you know, needing at least five songs and things like that. So this will actually refresh at various times throughout the day. And then if you tap on an album, it'll actually bring up both the section and the album itself. Um, so really nice. If you swipe down on that album, you can see where these came from. It's the first four that are in here. So if you go back out here, if we edit this again, um, if you turn off the title feature, you can actually kind of amp this up to get eight different albums. And we'll let that load. Um, they're pretty tiny, even on the iPad right here. Um, but you know, I have, immediately at looking at all of these, I know exactly what they are, except for that one. Which one is that? All that remains, all right. I haven't listened to that in quite a while. Um, so let's head back into the widget picker and let's make another one. And this time I'm going to do a small section. And what I'm going to do is instead of doing an album mix here, I'm going to do a song mix. So um, let's keep things super simple and we'll do dark mode again. The section I'm going to choose is my kind of one of my most played sections. I'm just going to do my radio mix and um, choose just to have one column since it's a song list here. I'm going to leave it as the style. Um, let's leave it as it is and see how that shows up. We'll turn off the show subtitle and let's see what that ends up looking like here. Let this load and there we go. So that shows the first song that's in the mix. 
So what I'm going to do is tap on that and that'll jump me right into the mix. Um, in this case, it used a different first song on there. It does change every time I refresh that, but um, if I pull that up, it uh, brings up this mix and I can immediately start playing it right from my home page. So a couple options right there for um, widgets and I definitely get a lot more use out of the random albums one um, just because not only can it show me random albums throughout the day and kind of cue me to potentially play, but it also just pulls up this section which I can scroll through and just kind of get things going right off the bat. So that's all for today. I'm um, just taking a look at widgets coming up. I plan to do a few um, things around doing some shortcuts, some of the updates from the new app to version 7.0. Um, so definitely have some things coming up to kind of just briefly go over and show you how to do that should be able to enhance your experience with Marvis Pro. Other than that, hope you have a good rest of your week and thank you so much for watching.